Hi, I'm Christy Smoderman. And I'm Melissa Wilson. And we're with the University of Minnesota Extension. Using manure as a nutrient source can really improve your pastures and cropland while reducing the need for fertilizers. But it has to be applied properly in order to protect the environment. And understanding the application rate is an essential piece of a manure management plan. Today, we're going to talk about and demonstrate how to calibrate a solid manure spreader. The first thing you need to know about manure spreaders and calibration is that there are several variables affecting application rates. For all spreaders, the tractor speed or gearbox settings will help determine the rate at which you apply manure. Then, depending on the type of spreader used, you'll also want to know the apron or hydraulic push gate setting. An example of the setting for an apron spreader is shown here. Other important settings may include the PTO speed and or the spreader gate opening settings, but please know that not all of these settings will apply to every type of spreader. While calibrating, keep all of these factors consistent, but make adjustments if you need to increase or lower your rate. When you're finished, be sure to record the final settings used so you can repeat them in the following years. Remember that application rates will be determined by the crop or pasture nutrient needs. As an example, regulations in Minnesota state that you cannot apply more nitrogen than is needed by the crop, including manure and fertilizer sources. This is why writing a nutrient management plan and calibrating your spreader are important. There are two possible ways to calibrate a spreader. The first is the load area method, which involves weighing your spreader with drive-on scales, and the second is the tarp method, which involves spreading manure over several tarps and weighing the manure collected. If you have drive-on scales available to you, the load area method is the most convenient way of calibrating a spreader. The only other equipment you'll need is something to help measure distances, like a measuring wheel, and paper and pen to record the measurements. The first step is to weigh the spreader when it is full of manure and record the weight. Make sure to include the tongue weight of the spreader. Once the load is spread, weigh the spreader empty and record the weight. By subtracting the empty weight from the full weight, you can get the weight of the manure. Next, you'll need to measure the area over which the manure was spread. If the area is rectangular in shape, measure the length and width. Once you've recorded the length and the width in feet, multiply the two values to get the area in square feet. Finally, calculate the application rate. Divide the weight of the manure by the area over which it was spread. Then multiply by a conversion factor of 21.8. This will give you the tons of manure spread per acre. Where does 21.8 come from? It is 43,560 square feet per acre divided by 2,000 pounds per ton. This will convert pounds per square foot to tons per acre. We suggest repeating the process at least three times with the same settings so that you can find the average manure application rate. If the application rate is too low or too high, make adjustments to your speed, gearbox, or spreader gate opening settings, then calibrate again. And that's how you use the load area method to calibrate a spreader. For the tarp method, you'll need a tarp, four rocks or other heavy objects to hold down the corners of the tarp, a measuring tape, a bucket, a scale, and pencil and paper for recording. The first step is to put the tarp in the bucket and weigh it empty before any manure is applied then record the weight. Next, spread the tarp out in the field where you'll apply manure and secure the corners with the rocks. Then, use the measuring tape to measure the length and width so that you can determine the area of the tarp. Record these values. Now you'll want to spread the manure. Most people try to spread manure as evenly as possible and avoid skips between application passes, so they'll try to overlap their passes a bit. In this case, we're spreading the manure fairly thick. This is because it is composted and has a low nutrient content. Other manure may be spread more thinly, depending on the nutrient content. To account for overlapping passes, you'll want to do three passes with the middle pass lined up over the tarp. Make sure you are spacing each pass the same as you would when you normally apply manure. Once the manure is spread, carefully pick up the corners of the tarp and fold the manure into the center. Place the folded tarp with the manure in the middle into the bucket and place it on the scale. Record the weight. Now we can begin to calculate the application rate. 
First, you will need to know the weight of the manure. Subtract the empty bucket weight from the bucket with manure weight. This will leave you with pounds of manure that was applied. Next, you should calculate the area of the tarp that the manure was spread over. Multiply the length of the tarp by the width of the tarp. This will give you the area in square feet. The remaining calculations are very similar to how we calculated the application rate with the load weight method. Divide the weight of the manure by the area of the tarp, then multiply by a conversion factor of 21.8. This will give you the tons of manure spread per acre. For this method, we recommend doing this procedure at least three times and then find the average, or use three tarps at once. Line them up in a row in the middle pass and find the average weight of manure on the three tarps. If the application rate is too low or too high, make adjustments to your speed, gearbox, or spreader gate openings, then calibrate again. One question that people will often ask is, how often should I calibrate my manure spreader? We recommend doing it when the manure consistency is not the same, perhaps when it is wetter or drier than normal, when you've changed your management practices, like using a new type of bedding, or maybe you've started composting the manure instead of spreading it raw, or when something changes on your spreader equipment, like a new tractor or ATV, or if something gets replaced on the spreader. If nothing has changed over the years, we still recommend recalibrating every couple of years to make sure nothing has changed. To summarize, calibrating your manure spreader is an important step in knowing how much manure you are applying so that you can accurately create a manure management plan. Using either the load weight or the tarp method is a useful way to calibrate your manure spreader. Remember to record the tractor settings like the speed when you are traveling and the gearbox and spreader gate opening settings. If your spreader is run by PTO, then record the PTO speed too. This will help you remember what settings to use in the following years. Good luck and happy spreading!